Hey guys, welcome to Board Fem G here. Apple has dropped their virtual press event announcing all of the new tech they are going to be taking our money for this year. But if you're an iPhone 12 series user like myself, this video might feel like a waste of your time. Nothing I'm about to say here is about to blow your mind in terms of major changes, but like, you know, stay anyway, let's get to know each other. So Apple users are about to see some upgrades to the iPad, the iPad mini, the Apple watch, as well as the release of the iPhone 13, the 13 mini, the 12, the 13 pro and the 12, 13 pro max. I keep saying 12 because I love my 12, but that's neither here or there. So in total, Apple has given us the gift of seven new products. First, the iPad retailing at 329. Two main changes are its new upgraded A13 Bionic chip, with 20% faster performance. But of course, the upgrade that I love the most is Apple's new upgrade to its rear camera, which features a better autofocus for better low light photos and a 12 megapixel ultra wide front camera for those bomb ass selfies we, or maybe I should say I, absolutely cannot live without. I personally love using my iPad to do video calls and Apple has introduced their new feature called Center Stage, which basically allows the camera to move with you or create a wider angle if more people come into the frame. Simplistically, I like to think of it most, mostly like an auto zoom that zooms in and out feature that gives you more flexibility without having to readjust the placement of your iPad, which I absolutely love. However, the iPad mini definitely takes center stage for much needed upgrades. Apple has incre increased its screen sizes, making the borders much smaller. We are seeing some nice rounded edges with an ultra thin design and the fingerprint sensor can now be found on the top right hand corner to accommodate its ultra small edges. It retails at $4.99 and you can also get it in four colors. That is going to be the purple, pink, starlight, and space gray. Now, on a side note, why do they put so much effort in renaming the color beige? Like, just call it beige or call it off-white, but like starlight, ugh, it's so dramatic. But anyway, I digress. Some other upgraded features in the iPad mini, a USB-C port, ultra retina display, true tone display, anti-reflective coating, 500 nits of brightness, plus an upgraded speaker system, a 12 megapixel camera, and true tone flash for better low light photos. The mini is also compatible with the second generation Apple Pencil, which you can easily magnetically attach to the side for easy use and to make sure that you don't lose it. And finally, if you are a content creator, you can now shoot in 4K, making this a great option to create your content in. If you're looking for a bigger screen, bigger than your iPhone, but maybe you don't want something as big as the regular iPad. Moving on to the Apple Watch Series 7, you will be getting a much bigger screen area with rounded corners a brighter screen, and a full keyboard. The Series 7 is crack resistant, dust resistant, and of course, it is still water resistant. I am personally loving that Apple's new claim of an 18 hour battery life. Now this retails for $3.99. Okay, finally, let's talk about the iPhone 13 series. Visually, not much has changed. The iPhone 13 and 13 mini have a diagonal placement of their cameras as opposed to the 12 series, which has a vertical placement. The front camera notch is slightly smaller for a bigger display area. The rear camera has 12 megapixels wide camera, image st stabilization, and a redesigned ultra wide camera to create much better photos under low light conditions. What I am ultra hyped about is the new cinematic mode feature. This will allow you to shoot videos with focused transitions between your subjects as you're shooting your video. The camera can literally detect a new subject coming into the frame, which gives your videos a slightly blurred effect on the background. And honestly, my friends, this is the difference between like Hollywood and your regular camera phone. And I just 
personally love how creating content is getting easier and easier with our devices. I feel like as a content creator, it just really helps us like kick it up a notch as the iPhones keep increasing their video and camera content. And for me, that is one of the reasons for why I personally love my iPhone. Let's talk battery life. If you're leaning towards the 13 mini, you will see an extra one and a half hours of battery life compared to the previous 12 mini. While 13 users will get an extra two and a half hours of battery life compared to the iPhone 12. Now the mini retails at $699, while the 13 retails at $799. The iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max, which personally are much more my speed because I personally love myself bigger displays, are going to be available in graphite, gold, silver, and the new Sierra Blue color. The pros come with an A15 Bionic chip with a bunch of new upgrades, which I will display on my screen for you guys. The Pro also comes with Apple's new ProMotion display, which can quickly refresh from 10 to 120 hertz, which means scrolling will be a lot faster and much more smooth. Lastly, the iPhone 13 Pro camera features upgrades to its telephoto camera, ultra wide camera with autofocus, and a wide camera with low light photography upgrades. Two new cool camera features that I cannot wait to test are the macro photography features, which allows you to zoom in with beautiful quality and details, as well as the photographic styles, which pretty much allows you to set a camera preset before you shoot your shot. So think of it as like Lightroom, but in advance. And you guys know that I cannot wait to test those features out. But okay, we talked about a lot of different devices, so please tell me your thoughts. Which device are you absolutely thinking of getting? Tell me which one you think I should get to do a full review on. I cannot wait to start playing around with all of these devices. And guys, do not forget, to follow me on all of my social media channels. Remember that's BoardFem, double O. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys on my next video.